This is the third year that girls have been included in state wrestling, just the second in this building at Metro Park, so let's not waste any time and get right to it. We start in the team race where Billings Senior has the lead after day one. Thanks to efforts like this, junior Paige Gershmel at 145 gets the late pin on Havers Aubrey Erickson for six big points. <laughs> Moments later at 152, senior two-time champ Kendall Tucker makes quick work of Glasgow's Riley Clampett with a first period pin. Tucker, one of three wrestlers going for a three-peat this weekend. Another is Sydney's Amaya Kern at 132 pounds. Kern taking on Taya Edwards from Butte, and Kern also earns the first period pin. We'll see her on Saturday. Huntley Project's Gretchen Donnelly has been dominant this year, 44-0 coming into state, and you can see why. Donnelly in total control against Yasmin Tatsy McKay from Browning. Make it 46-0 now for Donnelly, who's looking for back-to-back -back titles. Here's a fun story. Eighth graders are now allowed to compete in varsity wrestling, so Lockwood's Meadow Mallmeister might be the first person to be a five-time state champ if she can get it started this year. She pins Chinook's Emma Klingeman in the second to move to 38-0 on the season at 120 pounds. Bozeman has a semifinalist at 145 and Caitlin Thorne. She pins seniors Paisley Jagger in the first period and is pumped about it. Back to the team race, Butte within striking distance of the top. Freshman Sophie Grunhood here pins Frenchtown's Rebel Montanez. It's the Bulldogs and two-time defending team champ Flathead chasing senior for the title. The best non-AA school? Ronan, the Maidens, putting up big points on day one. Here's Katie Dolence at 126, pinning Harlem's Caitlin Johnson in the first period. Lots more to come on Championship Saturday. In Billings, Casey Conlon, MTN Sports.